Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's Walanda. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I do my head wraps. The thing about my head wraps is they don't always look the same. If y'all wrap your hair, y'all know it's always gonna be different. It depends on what you do that day, how your hair is set. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and show you guys what I do. I love, love, love wrapping my hair and I've said this before in pre many videos. So this is how my hair normally is up under my wrap. It is normally twisted and pulled back in a ponytail. It's normally a medium size twist. Sometimes I have a middle part, sometimes I have a side part. Honestly, it just depends on the twist. Like I don't really think about it that much. If I do decide to do a middle part that day, then I'll just split up the twist like it look like this. I'll just split it up in the middle and I'll do two twists and then keep it pushing like that. I don't really, Mm, bother too much whatever it is however it is it just wraps up like that i do use two head wraps in order to get the look i want so this head wrap is a just a piece of cloth i think it's one yard from walmart a while ago and i love this color sometimes i just wear this head wrap on its own because i just love that mustard yellow color um, but most of the time, if I want another color on top of it, this is my base. It doesn't move on my head. So I prefer using something like this underneath a silk or satin type of cloth. I got this from Amazon. So I fold the cloth in a triangle and then um, it's fairly easy. I just placed it on top of my head. In order for it to stay properly and not slide back too much, I do bring it all the way to the front. Like this. Oh, another thing, it's best to put your hair in a ponytail so it can have something stable like around it. There are times I you know, try to do it without a ponytail there and it just be slipping and sliding everywhere. So that ponytail, Holds as an anchor so it doesn't really move around like I said every time is different but most of the time I just give one of the triangles I guess and I twist it around the ponytail I try to make the ponytail as low as possible so it's not too high and I twist it twist it yeah I wrap it, <laughs> I wrap it around until the end, wherever it ends up being, I just tuck it. Under, normally it stays, right? And then you see, this is why I put the wrap all the way to the front because when you're tying it and it's getting tighter, it's gonna gradually slide back. So then, for the other two, I just put them together. I try to make them as thin as possible and I wrap it around the opposite side like this until wherever it stops. And then I just tuck it inside. Right? So a lot of the times I used to now this is just the wrap that I use underneath any color wrap. Normally I use black wrap now because a lot of the things I wear are black, but um, normally I would just stop like this and head out the door if I wanted to use this. But since I'm using this one on top, hold on, let me show y'all how the back looks. Ugh. It's pretty sturdy. Now, being that I want this one to be the one on top, I fold it in a triangle like I did with the other one. Bring it to the front, same thing, as far up as I can. So for this one, I want it to look very soft. I don't want it to look tight like the one I did underneath. So I just take these two sides, leave the middle one in the middle. So the one in the middle, I covered my bun with. and I just bring the rest of the one in the middle 
onto the side and kind of hide it with while I tie the two on the sides together. I tie it and then I bring it back down and just tuck it in. Okay, so I hope y'all were able to see that. I mean, that's the best that's the best way I can explain it that I do. I just know that way, like, it's very seamless. It's not tight at all, and it normally doesn't go anywhere. Sometimes I do take bobby pins to the side um, on top of the yellow one, not on top of the black one. Um, and then I cover my pretty one on the top. If I really want it secure, like if I'm going to be out and about and moving my head all day. But if I'm just going to take pictures, then I normally don't need bobby pins. Um, and then I just bring it back just a little bit. So it's not like right on my forehead. And that's basically it. Like it doesn't go anywhere as much as I move. It feels very comfortable. Yeah. And then I end up just doing my edges. A lot of the times I do like the look of when my ears are covered. So I'll just bring it like this. And yeah. <laughs> So that's basically it. If you guys like this tutorial, let me know down below. A lot of you guys have been asking both on Instagram and on YouTube for me to do a tutorial on this. So yes, here it is. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at imported underscore chocolate. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.